Getting old is inevitable. How we age, however, is a choice we make. Have you ever wondered what kind of creature has the longest lifespan in the world? Well, lobsters live for 142 years. Koi fish, 226 years. In Caribbean seas, lives a tiny transparent sea creature called Tritosis utricula, which is immortal. It is capable of reverting itself back to an earlier immature point. But how much longer and healthier can we live? Jean-Louis Calmon lived the longest in the history of mankind, 122 years, 164 days. Leonard Hayflick found out there's a limit to the number of times human cells can duplicate. They say it's about 50 times. So if your body cells can actually duplicate 50 times, you probably live to 100 or even 150 years. Unfortunately, this seldom happens. Our eating habits, lifestyle, smoking and drinking negatively influence our life expectancy. Statistics are alarming here. In 2008 alone, 7.6 million people worldwide died from cancer, and this is projected to double by 2030. 346 million people are suffering from diabetes. 3.4 million were reported to have died from it in 2005, a number that, according to World Health Organization, will increase to 6.8 million in the next 18 years. How can we preserve life? Human body consists of certain parts, which we call organs. These organs are created by smaller parts called tissues, and within those tissues are human body cells. These cells are the root of our wellness. This very fact led scientists to explore more and understand the functionality of stem cells. What more natural than human cells to repair ourselves with? Now the question is, what are stem cells exactly? These are cells with high plasticity that are able to self-replicate and can differentiate into many cell types. When we get a cut, what happens is that stem cells in bone marrow differentiate into the relevant body cells to be able to repair the wound, and that's how we heal ourselves. So, what are stem cells useful for? To replace other cells with stem cells. To repair damaged organs and cells, to renew biological functions, and to make cells healthier and younger. There's been a lot of debate and confusion around the topic of stem cells. People have said that stem cells are not ethical. What people tend to overlook is the fact that there are also ethical ways of retrieving stem cells. Using embryonic or fetal stem cells is like killing the life, and certainly unethical. But once a baby is born, there are stem cells in the umbilical cord. Stem cells in the blood cord are very young and healthy, and of course ethical. Also, the technology today allows us to use adult stem cells found in bone marrow, fat, teeth, and blood. There are two types of stem cells: hematopoietic and mesenchymal. Hematopoietic stem cells are able to differentiate into different body cells. However, they need to be matched. So there's the risk of rejection. Mesenchymal stem cells are also able to differentiate into any cell type of the body, and they do not need matching. This means that stem cells can be taken from anyone and injected to you without the risk of rejection. One application of stem cells is rejuvenation, where stem cells are used to make our cells younger. Where you get the cells from is of great importance. Internationally certified labs are the only reliable source. We offer you a world-class facility to receive stem cells. At the moment, we offer two packages: regenerative and healthy aging package, live stem cells for cartilage regeneration. Here is the process through which our procedures are done. First, a full body checkup. This is to determine whether the procedure is feasible. Then an appointment is made for you to receive stem cells, and finally our specialists review. The results of receiving stem cells will be medically verified. Recipients will not only be able to feel the difference in their life, 
but also see the difference in test results demonstrating that stem cells have actually done what they do best. What stem cells can do for us today is absolutely fascinating. Let's look